Hey everybody, welcome back to Church in Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm doing round two of my favorite cast strength rye whiskeys. So this is round two of my favorite cast strength rye whiskeys. Uh, first round was all MGP bottles. Um, they were bottles that I had on my bar already, had, had on my shelf already, so I didn't really go out and buy any of these for this challenge. Uh, I just realized I had a lot of cast strength rye whiskey sitting around, so um, I did uh, four uh, MGP bourbons that round, and the winner of that round was this Rossville Union. Uh, which comes directly from MGP Distillers, which is now uh, Ross and Squibb out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana. But this is a um, you know, barrel proof rye, comes in at 112.6 proof. So, and this one out of all the ones, so I moved it forward to this round against these other non-MGP uh, bottles. So um, over here, I've got the Knob Creek cast strength rye. This comes in at 127 proof, so. This um, was it says barreled in 2010, and I believe I bought this in um, 2020. So it's it's a nine or ten year old uh, rye whiskey. Um, next bottle over is a rare breed uh, barrel proof rye. This is non chill filtered, and this comes in at 112.2 proof. 112.2 proof. So. And the fourth bottle I've got in this challenge today is Alberta Premium um, Cast Strength Rye. This is, uh, I believe this was batch two of this, but um, this is 132 proof, so 66%. And this comes from uh, Alberta Distillers in uh, Canada. So, um, mash bill on this guy, I think, is 100% rye. So. Um, the mash bill on this Rossville Union is a mix of MGP's 95, uh, five um, rye mash bill, so 95% rye, 5% malted barley, and their lower uh, rye mash bill, which I think is something like 56% rye. So they don't tell you what the mix is, but it's going to be somewhere between you know 56 and 95%, uh, probably probably a little higher, probably in the 80s for sure. Um, both of these guys are what would be considered Kentucky ryes or barely legal ryes. Um, I believe they're both 51% rye. Um, the corn and barley is going to vary between these a little bit, but I think both the Knob Creek and the Rare Breed are 51% rye mash bills. So, so we've got some low rye mash bills, we've got some higher rye mash bills, uh, we've got um, you know, two higher proof ones and two lower proof ones. So. All right, I'm gonna go through, give these a nose, give them a taste, and let you know what I think today. Uh, I'll start over here, we'll call this glass A, B, C, D, and um, I'll go through. So, glass A. All right, on glass A, I'm getting a little bit of that, um, of a rye um, bread, more of a, more of a doughy rye bread. So not a baked bread, but a dough. Probably a little bit younger on that one. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these are actually age stated, but like I say I, I believe the Knot Creek is probably the oldest one. It's, it's I know at least eight years old. I, I think it's older than that. So glass B on the nose. Hmm. It's a pleasant nose. Caught a caught a hint of a of a tea on that. Not something I get uh, that often, but um, pleasant uh, pleasant tea nose on that. Yeah, maybe, maybe some oak in there also. Glass C. All right, glass C has a hint of a of a Play-Doh type nose. Nice. And glass D. 
So D's back to a little bit of a rye, rye bread smell. Yeah. Not anything a whole lot different between any of these. More oak on A than I think I got originally. I'd say B has the most unique nose out of the batch. And C might have a tad hint of an evergreen. Um, not, not, not minty really, but just an evergreen aroma on it. Okay, let's go through and give a taste. Class A, cheers. Glass A is hot, um, super spicy, right on the front of the tongue. I mean, it's a peppery, peppery spice. Um, a lot of warmth on there too. A um, little bit of oak on the tongue, but um, really just peppery and, and warm. So the warmth um, was definitely warm going down. Uh, I didn't take a real big drink, but um, so it didn't really burn or anything. But, uh, Definitely washed over my tongue hot and went down super warm. So, give class B a taste. Cheers. All right, B definitely hit the tongue different. It, it had a little bit of sweet on the front of the tongue, and um, and then the spice came later. Um, came came pretty quick, uh, but a lot of cinnamon spice on the edges of the tongue, especially so. Um, very, very hot cinnamon, like a cinnamon red hot. Um, didn't quite get the warmth going down. But yeah, hot on the tongue. All right, good class C a taste. Cheers. All right, C has more oak on the, on the taste. It um, didn't have the hot on the front of the tongue. It, it was similar to B where it has more of a cinnamon spice on the back edge of the tongue. But yeah, it had, it had some more oak. And, and some warmth going down, so. Class D, cheers. All right, D's not as spicy as some of the other ones either. It's And it's more of a black pepper spice. Didn't hit on the front of the tongue. It's more on the back edge of the tongue. Uh, had some oak influence there too, so. Definitely getting some oak on several of these. Getting cinnamon on a couple, getting black pepper on a couple. Yeah. I'm gonna let these sit for a couple minutes and um, I'll go back through and taste them again and see if I can pick a winner. All right, yeah, so I hope I hope I got a pretty good representation of, of different distilleries here. We've obviously got Jim Beam, we've got Wild Turkey, we've got uh, MGP out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana, uh, this Alberta distillers and from Canada. Um, so all major distillers. Um, I know there's quite a few craft distilleries or small distilleries that have, that have, that have come out with um, some cast strength rise and whatnot. So, um, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of MGP ones out there also, but but there's some uh, that are that are definitely distilled by the by the small distilleries and all. So those can be interesting also. Um, but yeah, definitely curious to see see where this is going to fall. You know, thanks for tuning in and watching. Um, hit that like button if you uh, like what you've been seeing so far. Hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and leave some comments down below. Let me know. Uh, what your favorite rye whiskeys are or if you've had these or not um, but in particular the cast strength so I'm going to go back through starting with glass D this time in reverse order and go through and, and you know try to try to pick my favorite today so definitely oak on the nose on D evergreen on C Oak on all of them. Um, some some bread over here on B this time around. So um, obviously it's that rye that rye spice coming through. Um, but uh, the taste is taste is where it's at. Let's find out what we got.
Yeah, definitely a, a black peppery spice on that. Maybe a little bit of something else there, a little bit of um, a little bit of cinnamon or or you know clove or something. Um, but the oak, the oak's pretty pretty present, and uh, and this one's a definitely a black pepper. Um, not real warm going down. Um, definitely hot on the tongue, uh, but but not super hot going down. So. Um, seems to be, you know, pretty reminiscent of, of, of a bourbon four there. So, and we'll see. Um, I would expect these uh, fifty-one percent uh, rise to be, you know, you know, obviously closer to a bourbon, and and these, especially this hundred percent rye and the one you know, ninety-five percent rise in this are going to push it a little farther away from the bourbon. So, go to class C. This one's definitely sweeter on the tongue. Um, it has cinnamon spice on it. Um, definitely lingers. Um, not real warm going down either. So uh, whatever heat I was getting that first pass, um, I guess I've got accustomed to it or used to it. I would say um, C is a hair above D on both the nose and, and the palate. So. Glass B. Yeah, glass B is hot. Um, It's got, it does have a hint of sweet, sweetness on the front of the tongue, but then it immediately turns into a cinnamon red hot. And, um, and it is warm going down too, so probably the hottest of the three I've drank so far. Definitely an interesting nose on that one. So keep it up here with the uh, C. Give glass D another taste. Definitely hot on that guy also. Uh, definitely some oak drying on that. Um, and there's there's some there's some other um, something else in there too. I mean there is some hint of. Some hint of something uh, vanilla, um, some some kind of other baking baking flavor. Um, yeah, just as far as sipping these neat, just straight. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this guy back. He's uh, he's too hot, too spicy to just enjoy sipping this straight. So. I think I've got um, A's in last, I think D's second to last, and I've got to pick a winner between uh, B and C. Both have, have good aromas, you know, uh, similar aromas. I think B has a more interesting aroma. Um, I, I still get that. I think this was the one that had the the tea on it because um, I'm, I'm getting tea on it now. So and this one has a little bit of, of evergreen on it. So yeah, this is this is a you know, quintessential rye sip here. Good good rye aroma. Good rye sip. Good amount of heat. Not not overpowering, um, 
Very nice. This guy is definitely hotter. Um, definitely more oak drying on it also. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna pull it back. So I'm thinking just as far as sipability goes and just drinking these straight. Um, C's gonna be on winter today, followed by B, D, A. All right, we'll go through and see what we have. So my fourth place pick today, mostly because it's just so hot to the on the tongue, so hot to drink. A lot of a lot of black pepper on this um, is the Knob Creek. So this is the Knob Creek, and this guy comes in at 127 proof. So it is only 51% rye mash bill on it, but. Uh, it's definitely a hot, hot ride. So, um, third place, the last D is the rare breed ride. So, um, rare breed, um, 100, 112, yeah, 112.2 proof on the on the rare breed. Also, 51% rye. Um, this guy, he, he was a good sip and all, but he actually wasn't uh, as spicy as I'd be looking for in a rye. So he, it, it definitely was closer to a bourbon on, on this guy. So uh, second place is Glass B. And this is the Alberta Premium. So over here, this is 100% rye. And um, and honestly, the what reason it got yeah, you know, bumped a second and you know out of my top two was is just so hot and and so oak drying on it which means the winner here today is the Rossville Union first place which is um, you know 112.6 proof so it's not quite the lowest I mean the rare breeds uh, actually a little bit lower proof so um, but certainly not as high as these other two um, this guy has, you know, a good amount of spice, a good amount of heat. Um, the aroma on it's interesting. It, it just has more, you know, layers of, of rye flavors of what you'd be looking for in a rye whiskey. So, very interesting. The Rossville wins again. It won round one out of MGP bottles. It's round one round two. So, Surprises me, definitely surprised me the last time, surprised me again this time. So, definitely leave some comments down below. You know, let me know if you've had this, what you think of it, if you're surprised by this, also, um, if, if you're dumbfounded by it, let me know. Appreciate you tuning in. Remember, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. The best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Kentucky makes a pretty damn good rise, but in this case, so does Indiana. Cheers.